Thank you for joining us. My name is Nalong Urechuku and you are watching The Strange Acts of God. This is the NSPPD Testimony Show where we call the medical experts in just to review, just to analyze the wonders of God that we have continued to hear on a day-to-day -day basis on NSPPD. Now, before I go any further, I'd love to apologize to our YouTube audience for last week. Wow, last week we had a blast on the show, but unfortunately we were unable to go live on our Pastor Jerry Aze page. So for our YouTube audience, I'd love to encourage you to follow us also on our Streams of Joy TV page, SOJ TV. Follow us on SOJ TV page and click on the notification button so that you never miss an episode. Wow, we're still in the month of October, the month of joy on ending. And the testimonies are indicative of the fact that God has ushered us into a season of joyful news and joy on ending. Joining me in studio today to review five of the joyful testimonies that we heard in the course of the week is a second time guest to the show. She is the head of the medical team, Streams of Joy Abuja. Her name is Dr. Uche Ibe, and she's a general practitioner with almost 30 years of experience under her belt. Dr. Uche, I am so delighted to have you back with us. Wow, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you for having me. Welcome to the show. Thank Welcome you. to. Thank you. <laughs> I'm happy to be here again. Yes. Thank you so much. And you've been following NSVPD. Oh I yes, I have been. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> it's been. Doesn't? It's been a it's month been amazing. of just wonders. It's been wonderful. It's been wonderful. Glory to God. Glory, Glory to God. God. Glory to so God. today we have five testimonies. Yes. Five testimonies and our first That's two right. testifiers. We have Mrs. Ifi Ezeji testifying about polyps falling out. Mm -hmm. And we have our second testifier, Sis Abiola, testifying from Lagos, Nigeria as well. Yes. And she's testifying about fibroids falling oh. out. <laughs> Amazing. Have you clicked on the share button? Go ahead and click on the share button. Yes. And let others know that we're alive. We'll be right back after their testimonies. God cannot do, does not exist. My name is Ifi Ezeji. I live in Lagos. I've been in and out of this platform. Last four months ago, my brother-in-law called me up. Boom, thank you so much. He said, Mama, be more serious with NSPP, the fire altar. Be more serious with Pastor Jerry's prayer. That God is about to do a huge thing in my life. That from that four months to August last month, that if God did not answer his prayers, he will know he's not serving a living God. Because of that, I became more serious. I was so addicted with the program. August came, I was expecting my miracle. That August, it was as if my whole body shot in that. I was having back pain, leg pain. My period came out twice. I was having spotting almost every day. I rushed to the hospital and my doctor sent me for a scan. When the results came out, they said I have small fibroid that is very little. It doesn't have anything to do with my uh, fertility. But I have cervical polyps. I went to my doctor and he said I, that I should prepare for surgery. I asked him how much. He said it's 350 to 400k. I was so, I felt so bad. I rushed back home. I called my brother-in-law. Is this the, the, the agreement we had with God? Is he, he, I'm supposed to take him this month and now I'm going for a surgery. I was crying and he called me. I should calm down that my miracle is here. That I should keep on praying. You know, fast forward to my miracle. This last 
Thursday, 8th of September, Pastor Jerry was praying in the morning and he said, there's a woman with clothes. I didn't even understand what he was saying. I just said, it's me, it's me. God has remembered me, it's my case. You know, he said, we should stand up and shake it out, shake it out. I was shaking my body. After the prayer, I rushed to the bathroom. The growth is out. Half of it is out. Half of it is inside. I wanted to push it out and he refused to go. It, 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 it was so strong. I rushed to the hospital and the doctor said it's a miracle. We enter inside the theater. He brought it out just like that. No more surgery. Pastor Jerry Idewoko. This is my evidence. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your prayer. Thank you so much. I appreciate. I can never, 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 never leave this prayer altar again. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Abisola. I'm recording this testimony from Lagos, Nigeria. I am that woman that God showed mercy. So, um, the second quarter of this year, I started having anemia, menorrhagia, just all of a sudden out of nowhere. Um, in the course of treatment, you know, we had to do a scan, of course, to know why the heavy, the menorrhagia is heavy bleeding. I would have periods of um, maybe 10 to 15 days, so which led to the anemia. So in the scan, we had, I did a scan, and this is my report. It says I had a posterior submucous fibroid with greater than 50% projecting into the endometrial cavity. Apparently, this um, fibroid was the one making me bleed excessively. So part of the treatment plan was to have an IUD, which is an intrauterine device, uh, typically called Mirena. You know, it's inserted all the way into the cervix to help with the bleeding. This was done on the 10th of June, but the bleeding still continued. I was on different medications from transamic acid to diacinone. It really, really affected my quality of life. But God, God is faithful. On the 20th of July, after all oh God showed me mercy, you know, I head on to the word of when pastor said anything that is not of God, let it come out and all of that. At 12.20 p.m. that afternoon, I was to see the hematologist later that day and I was just in my room praising God and praying and crying and just and I had I felt literally you know the I when I looked into the toilet I went to pee and I looked into the toilet I could see the mass you know is <laughs> that it that it is you know the fibroid so I'm here not only to testify that I saw it and not only that not only did the fibroid come out even the device that the doctors put in to help with it god said god wanted to show me that no 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 but the thing that was giving you the problem the treatment both of them came out on their own it does not come out in fact in the world in any anybody that uses mirena is less than one percent of all users that would have it expel itself on its own i went to do another scan to to check this is my report when compared with the previous study of 2nd of June 2022, there is absence of the initially visualized echogenic mass, which was partly greater than 50% projecting into the endometrial cavity. What God cannot do does not exist. Oh, oh my, my God! God. Oh, wow. Wow, wow! Glory wow, wow, to wow, wow, God! Wow, wow. Awesome. Oh my god, what is oh going on, god. Dr. Oche? Oh my goodness. Fibroids falling <laughs> out, polyps falling out. On. What is going a on? Lot is my going goodness. On. You know, all, nothing but a miracle. Nothing but a miracle. Wow, it is awesome. You it know, awesome. I, I can't get over what she said. Mm. There's a less than 1% chance. That's correct. For Marina, what she call it? That is an IUD. Okay. Okay. So to fall out. To fall out. Yes. Less than 1% chance. That is correct because it's done well and it's placed in the cervix going up because the cervix is just a connection to the uterus so when it goes in they put it in it has like an umbrella right you know and it just attaches itself so mm. it sprays out mm. and the chance is that it's just going to yank itself out and fall off mm. it's just just very 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 low. unlikely yes, so who unscrewed unlikely. i don't know who unscrewed <laughs> who this, unscrewed this? i don't know my this god this is just nothing but a miracle. my god why was it put in there in the first place i mean why didn't they just take the fibroids out well what happened is sometimes they want to do some you know less invasive uh 
procedures. Right. Most time they start you, you know, they can start you with some, you know, birth control pills. Okay. Just to regulate your hormone. Okay. You know, they can also decide to put you on IUD, which is part of the what they're trying to do, mm -hmm. and just to make sure that those things can help to not. It's not a curative. It's not a treatment. Right. But it's actually supposed to help you, you know, decrease the bleeding. Okay. And decrease the symptoms that she's mm. having. Mm. So those things are just placed there before you go into the invasive surgical procedures. Mm. There's also other procedures that are more like uh, uterine fibroid embolization. They could also do that one. That one is less, uh, you know, less invasive. Yes. But at the same time, it could also be more expensive. Before you go into the main surgical procedure of just taking off the whole uterus. Yes. You know. So he's read to me. So wow. that's why they, they 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 felt you know let's try and see if this is going to be of you know use or if it's going to actually decrease your symptoms okay and make you feel better okay. so they normally do that they wow that. wow yes. and here she was you know after putting it in the bleeding did not subside it did not stop the medication they did, did not help issues they also put her on medications you know so with a fine so what's the next the step for such a patient the next step is going to surgery. be some kind of surgery my some god kind of surgery. that is the next step mm. because she is already anemic Yes, the yes, yes, yes. The is heavy. 10 to 15 the, days per time. That's correct. The mm. symptoms are just, you know, overwhelming. Mm, she mm, feels mm. the pain. She mm. just practically said that her whole life is just a mess. Right. You know, she can function like right. a normal person. Right. So that's a lot going on with her at that point. And if this miracle didn't happen, I bet you she would have said, let me have the surgery. And yes, the yes, yes, yes. I can't get over this. It's Fibroids do not typically fall out, do it they? does not typically fall off. But what's happened? Depending on the size, sometimes they can melt away. Okay, depending on depending the size. Depending on the size, the very small sizes can actually, you What know, would you say, you know, the size of that fibroid, what would you say, you know, is that small, is that average, is that That's moderate? That's average, right. that is average, right. Right. you know. And those are not the ones that just fall off. Yes. Or just uh, disappear on its own. Yes, and know. she said it was in the submucous, posterior that submucus. Correct. That's right, because there's three positions that you have those uh, fibroids that go in. Okay. So the, the submucosal, you know, region is in between, it's embedded in the endometrium, it's embedded in the, in the, in the lining. Okay. So, and then it's protruding into the endometrium. Okay. You know? So these ones are the ones that are the worst parts because they cause more of severe bleeding hmm. they cause more severe hmm. you know hmm. bleeding hmm. that cause a lot of pain you know and is is the worst is the worst of the three hmm. positions hmm. Where you hmm. can have them. and here she is she's praying she's not yes. even doing some kind of strenuous activity no, she i mean she's praying not. in her she room and crying and in instantly she feels Failed something it. drop and she went hey. to the bathroom. This is amazing. Amazing. This is amazing. I mean, it's almost like giving birth. Yes. <laughs> Without any pain. Without any pain. My Seriously. God. Because the cervix have to open for all of those things and to And then drop she expels it with the IUD. My goodness. Yes. My she didn't goodness. Feel pain. It just, just dropped. It's just amazing. 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 And then we have our first testifier shaking it off, shaking oh, it off. Yes. And then shake it off, shake it off, shake it drops shake it off, out. Shake My it God. Off. And, and that's another What's amazing. the difference between polyps and fibroids? Well, polyps and fibroids. Okay, fibroids, they're all growths. Okay. Okay. So the main, main, main difference is just the tissue. Right. cells that they're made of. Okay. So fibroids are made up of more of muscle cells. I can see cells. a graph of, yes. yes. Okay, that's you looking mm -hmm. at it. It's made up of muscle cells okay. and some kind of connective tissues. Right. Okay, so they're more like, more solid. Mm, you know? mm, mm. Yes. So but the polyps are actually made up of you know, the lining of the endometrium, the uterus. Okay. So okay. you can see it has more of a glossy, you know, look. Yes, you yes, know, yes. Oh, I see that's that. That's correct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Compared to the fibroids. Right, right, you know. right. But the polyps, you know, more ha are prone to more cancer. Okay. Right. And again, with the fibroids, it's for childbearing age women. Okay. Okay. So it okay. can occur. It's very common. It just happens. Yes. You know, with, within the childbearing. But the polyps mostly occur for premenopausal women, mm. women that are going into their menopausal age, or even menopausal. And age. it can become cancerous. And it can become cancerous. My goodness. Hence yes. the need to take it out. That is correct. Oh Hence wow. Now polyps, mm -hmm. do they typically fall off? 
Not really. They're small ones, you know, depending on the size as well. Can you small shake ones. it off? <laughs> you can't can just you shake it shake off. It you off. just don't shake it off. It does not happen. You know, so when the small ones that can just break out and just come up and you see them, you know, they're just little. But right. when they're in a beak, which the doctor have confirmed that this one is big. Yes, and because she wanted surgery. to go in for mm -hmm, surgery. Mm -hmm, if mm -hmm. it was something that would have dropped off, he right. wouldn't have said, okay, let's just watch it and see, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, how mm -hmm. it goes. But he already scheduled surgery. So it's not just a small, it's already hey. confirmed that it's big. It's, hey, it's, it's I mean, look big. at that. Look, look at, look at that. that. Yes. Oh look my that. goodness. It's just not a small, oh my goodness. small tissue. <laughs> hey, oh it is my amazing. God. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I mean, amazing. at the word wow. of God. Yes. She heard the word she and the word said growth. She heard the word and she... didn't say polyps. It just, just, she just had growth. There's growth, a growth. Growth, growth. And hmm. that's all it heard. Yes. And she started shaking it off. And started shaking it off. And then the part, some of it came out. My God. And still, some of it was still attached in the cervix. Mm, mm, so, mm. you know, that's, she couldn't pull it out. So mm. that tells you it's not just a small no, 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 that no. can just slime out Glory of Glory to God. God is awesome. And God it performed this awesome. surgery by awesome. himself. It, surgery canceled. And she saved 300 to 400,000 400, naira. naira. Minus the pain well, and all of that. This is amazing. It's awesome. This is amazing. God Fibroids. Is awesome. Polyps God is awesome. falling out at the word, at of, the God. word of God. This is awesome. 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 Wow. Awesome. Really wow. awesome. Our third awesome. testifier hmm. today is Mrs. Mary Jane Weke, testifying from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And this is a testimony of healing, a testimony of breakthrough, and a testimony of deliverance. Stick around and we'll be right back after her testimony. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What our God cannot do does not exist. My name is Mary Jane Mweke. I am making this video from Port Harcourt. I joined this platform um, in June 2020, around June 23rd or 24th. My husband came across it one morning after we finished praying and he was like, ah, baby, come and see. Who is this person that has 17,000 views? By then it was 17,000 views or so. So I will list him and said, ah, this is something else. So after that day, we set alarm and we have been on this altar since June 2020. We have been on this altar. The first testimony I have is concerning my voice. I'm a music minister. Sometime in that 2020, around November, December, I lost my voice. That as I'm speaking now, you can't hear me. As I'm talking, you can't hear me. When they invite me to come and minister, I'm afraid. Because I can't sing more than two, three minutes. I can't sing. I began to reject invitations to minister. I prayed. I took uh, medications and went to the clinic. The, even so, somebody said I have to go for, I have to see an ENT doctor. I went to see the ENT doctor and he prescribed some drugs for me. I took those drugs, yet nothing worked. Now, sometime this year, around February or March, one morning we were praying on the altar. Pastor Jerry said, who took your voice? Who took your voice and buried it under a stone? Who took your voice? Who buried your voice? Who said your voice won't be heard? As I was making that declaration, I fell on the floor. I screamed as possible as I can that day. He said, by the power in the name of Jesus, receive your voice back. You know, after that declaration, that day I got my voice back. So Jerry, from that day, I am no longer afraid of being invited to come and minister. When I've been invited before now, like how am I going to minister? Is it not voice I used to minister? To think that I took medications, hot water became my water. All manner of, there's nothing I didn't drink. They said, drink garlic, do this. As I speak, as I speak, these few minutes I've spoken, this voice will just go. You wouldn't hear me. You would think I have, maybe I've, I've been speaking for the past one week. But on this altar, I received this voice back. The second testimony is concerning my daughter. We have been believing God for her trouble. She has gone for two interviews. No, um, the, 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 the visas came out negative. She was not granted visa. On this altar, 
when you say print what you have what you want something that looks like what you want and all that we went and printed this visa this is the visa we printed it and on that day you said that's around march or april you said right when the date you want to receive this visa we wrote the dates you can see the dates we wrote 13th of july 2022 it wasn't up to 13th of july we received this visa pastor jerry the person has been denied visa twice they gave her 10 years visa multiple visa pastor jerry 10 years she has been refused and visa twice and when we now printed this and placed it on this altar and we prayed along with it put a date she was given 10 years multiple entry this is somebody that they denied visa twice they gave her 10 years to uk as i speak to you my daughter is in uk right now <laughs> pastor jerry my family is like um a norm in my family People have this leg issue. I met my grandmother like that. Leg issue. My late mom, same thing. Even in my in my own immediate family, my step, my two step uh, siblings, when you see them now, you see their legs. People who know me will tell you that what I'm saying is true. They know that I have issues with my leg. As a matter of fact, I have operated one of the legs. I've operated one of my legs in 2009. Four, 2004 I operated on it I used clutches for over six months I was afraid to operate both because of you know how I'm going to cope the pains and all that I operated one I had clutches for six months I did test giving people knew about it people thought I had an accident I don't enter public transport reason being that I might enter public transport and I want to drop the leg will lock that you need to carry me down so I stopped. If I'm going anywhere, I'll have to take a drop so that if there's anything. The, the, the doctors, orthopedic doctors will know what I'm talking about. They call it knock knee or something. I don't know. On Friday or Thursday last week, the other leg started terribly that I couldn't sleep. I managed that Friday. Managed on Sunday. In fact, the one that happened that Friday was when I came back that my husband had to order this. I have to order this. See, I'm opening it because it has not been, I've not, I didn't use it again. I've not used it. He ordered it. It is called knee brace or knee brace. I don't know what they call it. It was so bad that I couldn't sleep. My husband had to order this. And before this thing could arrive on Monday, we were on the fire altar. Pastor Jerry, when you said shake it, I stood up. I started shaking this leg. This is a leg that didn't allow me to sleep. I couldn't sleep. But in the morning, during the prayer, when he says shake it, hey, Pastor Jerry, I shook. And after the shooking and the shaking, Pastor Jerry, as a matter of fact, this morning I purposely wore him when I went out. This leg that I was dragging, this is me. I stood. They, who, they not bomb me well to do what I'm doing. They not bomb me well to do this, Pastor Jerry. You don't understand. Nobody will understand what I'm saying, except for my husband and children who were here. Look at this leg, look at it. As a matter of fact, when you look at it, you will see it. You will see the leg. So uh, uh, the leg doctors or orthopedic people, they will know what I'm talking about. They will know what I'm talking about. I can't, I, I, I couldn't do this. I couldn't walk. That's why I had to order this. After the shaking, Pastor Jerry, I can't kneel down. That I am kneeling down. Look at me kneeling down. They no bore me where to kneel down. For what? I haven't done this in years. I have not. I can't do this because if I do it, you would carry me up. I can't. Pastor Jerry, let me show you things I can't do. I can't, they no not want me well to cross my leg like this. Because if I do it, you will have to wait for this leg to sit. And by the time it, I will bring it out, you will hear creep. 
the, knee doc the, the bone doctors will know what I'm talking about. But it is the same leg I am moving. I am doing all this to show you. Look at it. Look at it. I have come to return all the glory to the God of NSPPD. To say that what the God of NSPPD cannot do does not exist. What the God of this fire altar cannot do does not exist. In fact, what I used to say is that what God cannot do, fitting exist. That is my own slogan. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Jerry, for all you do. And I know I am returning here with that one expectation thing I am expecting from God. I am returning here to give that bomb testimony that the whole world will hear and will say, what is this? Remain blessed. God bless you. Bye. To wow. God, and what the, God that's, cannot do it fits in, fits in exist. <laughs> Glory to God. This is wow, awesome. This is We're awesome. shaking things off uh, today. Shaking. She, We're shaking, 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 shaking and shaking. shaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is awesome. Hallelujah. I mean, Hallelujah. can you see the, the trend wow. today? That's it right. shook off four lips and fibroids. Right. Now our second testify, third right. testify, shaking off. Shooking it off. Look. <laughs> <laughs> shooking off and shaking off. Wow. Not me. This is awesome. My God, mm, amazing. Mm, mm. I mean, that um, woman, this woman, this is really This testimony is huge. phenomenal. Yes. It is. It is. I mean, I don't is even this, know where to start. It's like is this she has three testimonies she has three, in three, one. Three in three one. Three in one. Three testimonies oh, in one. Goodness. Yes. So yes. is this typically knock knees? Is this mm -hmm. how it presents itself? Because I'm hearing you know, symptoms of arthritis as well. That's correct. So That's would you correct. say this is well, just knock knees? Knock knees actually, you know, genuine virus. They come, you know, as during child, you know, during uh, uh, childhood. Okay. So this, the, some of them are born. Normally some children, it's just very common. They come out with those knock knees. Yes. Okay. But as they grow and the knock knees is just the inversion here and the extension yes. of the, uh, you know, the, the, the ankles. Yes. But as they, it helps them in balancing when they start to work. Yes. But as they start to grow, those things will it just straightens out. straightens out. Right. So it's supposed to have straightened up. Right. So in her own case, when it doesn't straighten up and it goes into adulthood, then you have to worry about what is yes. actually going on. It will so probably lead to a surgical... Is, that is correct. Yes. Some kind of correction. Surgical you correction. Know, and then uh, therapy, you know, physiotherapy, oh, okay. so that they can actually okay. learn okay. how to work and actually... Okay, see. okay, I can see the knock that's so, right. so you so that's see what the knock like. knee, what it looks like, mm. you know. So this is a normal knee, you see Straight. the bones, yes. Mm. And this one, you can see the inversion. That they are, they are that's knocking, right. each they're other. knocking each other. Now, can this knee... You know, this knocking leads yes. to arthritis. It's actually arthritis that can lead to the knocking. But at the same time, right. they all intervene each other. You, wow. know, you can actually okay. have them both. Okay. You know, in her case, yes. she does have arthritis. Right. Because she talks about her mother, grandmother. Her grandma. She talks about her mother. Yes, it's and a pattern siblings. in her family. So it's some kind of hereditary. Yes, yes, yes. And rheumatoid is actually, you know, an autoimmune. Right, so it, it can right, be right. Passed right. on from this, you know, um, parents. And it's to quite their severe children. because it means she can't this walk, she can't bend, she can't sleep. Yeah, because you know? she also have osteoarthritis right osteoarthritis are the ones that you know affect the big joints in the right. joints right and it causes deformity and what happens in osteoarthritis you know the knee you have um, you know a cartilage and a fluid that is in there, synovial fluid is yes, 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 yes. And it's like a lubricant that helps you with the movement right right so right so with osteoarthritis those dry up and when that dries up, what happens? You have a spongy, instead of the cartilage being smooth and nice, it becomes spongy and it has deteriorated. Mm, so mm, in mm. that way, it's difficult to have movements. Right, It's right. very difficult, you mm. know. It can lock up on you. Mm, mm, and whenever, mm, mm, you know, you can hear that crack the cracking sound, sound and yes. all this and all that. Mm. So she is in a severe, this is a severe case. Yes, and you know, she's arthritis. tried surgery in the past. She did a surgery. You know, and she's still and dealing with the same work. issue. That is correct. She mm. had a surgery on one. Mm. And then have to wear, uh, use scotches for six months. Yes, yes, yes. And yes. still, that didn't, you know, cure it. So what is so, the remedy for a patient like this, you know? 
in this case, because she's already an adult, you know, the, uh, the, she could go in for surgeries. Again. Yes, but you know what, though? Um, uh, because of the two issues that are going on, Simultaneous, you know, the knock knees and the, the arthritis. The knees and the arthritis. Mm -hmm. They might want to treat more of the arthritis right. if it's a knee replacement, right, you know, right, right. for that cap, you know. But mm. to do a surgery to correct these uh, knock knees at that age is a very invasive hmm. surgical procedure because hmm. she's going to be needing some kind of uh, therapy and right. all this and all right. that. So it is just a condition that now, you have to know, know how to deal with. Now, I know arthritis to be a degenerative condition. That's it's correct. It's supposed to get worse with time. That's correct. With you age, know, without intervention, That's right. it's expected to get worse to get with worse. time. To get worse. So um, I'm just marveled to see this lady bending and <laughs> jumping. I was scared for her to see her going down without support it and crossing her legs. Else. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I was so scared. She was jumping up. Yes. And I said, oh God, I can't even do that. Yes, you, you, <laughs> you can imagine. And even, you know, healthy up. people now with crossing their... crossing her legs. Yes, and, oh my yes, goodness. yes, yes. It's awesome. Healing has taken place. I mean, Healing it is evident. Taken place. Normal persons, normal wow. women, you know, wow. and even men at wow. that age, at getting that age, down and coming up right. on your own without Healing support down. is a challenge, a challenge you know it's when you have the added wow. you know issues of arthritis that's right. and that's right and knock knees and the you're able to on. do that what oh she's my doing, god what she this is did. amazing this is awesome this is a miracle this is a, this miracle. Is a miracle this is a miracle is a healing pure mm. healing mm. That just happened. Mm. healing has taken place seriously it glory has taken to god and, and you know she also had you know the condition with her voice oh, yes that's right her voice would disappear and she would become inaudible she had entirely uh, that's right she had laryngitis Laryn what? Laryngitis. Laryngitis, that's okay. Correct. That's an inflammation of the vocal cord. Right. So uh, there's other causes that can actually give you laryngitis. Virus, okay. bacteria, okay. you know. But her own cases are overused. Okay. So an overuse of the vocal cord can actually rupture and actually they can actually cause inflammation. Right. So but for that, such a prolonged time. For a prolonged time. I mean, normally it heals about it's self limiting. It can yes. actually heal in two weeks. Right. You know, and then you get your voice back. Mm -hmm. Because that hoarseness is a symptom of the laryngitis. Right. So it's the obvious one. That's the one we always see. Anytime you hear the hoarseness, you know there's some inflammation going on yes. you know, in, in the larynx. So in the vocal cord. So with her own case, it stayed longer. For months and months, months without and months end. And, months. and when that happens, that's when we have to worry. Okay. Is it cancer? Oh, what wow. What actually is going on? Oh, wow. That's when you have to do more, you know, evaluation to find wow. out. And she tried some medication, even saw an ENT. Yes, saw an ENT, yes. That's right. Yes. And still, they... they and they, was they, taking hot water, and garlic, water and all of that. And became had regular water, yes. and garlic, yes. and all the rest of those remedies. Yes. And it just didn't work. Hmm. Till the world came. Yes. Are you saying that this is a bigger issue than just laryngitis? It looks more like a bigger issue yes. than just laryngitis. Because yes. mm. common laryngitis just comes. Should go. Typically, it should be, should go. should be gone in, that's what, right. two, three weeks. That's so at, right. this stage, at this stage, doctors would probably going, be looking that, towards. looking into so many other things mm. that could have caused it. Mm, you know, mm, so mm. it is amazing. You know, the devil amazing. is a bastard. Be reminded oh, that yes. this woman <laughs> is a music <laughs> minister. minister. You know, so her voice is not just the voice away. yes. Her voice is not just for That's communication. Right. That is, That's right. it might even be her livelihood. That's it's her right. ministry. That's it could right. be her livelihood That's as well. Right. And the devil took that weapon took that away weapon from her. Away. I mean, she lost her voice Whoa. physically and she symbolically did. as yes, well, you know. Did. And that's where she, she found did. herself. She not until the word came. Till the word came. That her voice had been buried wow. under, under a stone. <laughs> under a stone. Under a stone. And instantly. 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 Whoa. Now you're the medical Amazing. expert. You have to explain Amazing. to me how I this I don't happened. have an explanation for this one. I think you have no explanation. explanation. Right. I don't know how that could have happened. Just okay. instantly. Okay. Just at the word. Mm. And it's just her voice came back. Mm, it's mm, not a gradual mm, process. Mm, mm, you know, I mean, just came back. Instantly. A condition that has mm. defied treatment for months and correct. months on end. That is correct. And then instantly. 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 She just gained her oh voice Oh, my back. God. Miracles. God Miracles. is good. Miracles. God is it good. Is and you know, awesome. you know we keep awesome. seeing this. I mean, it this is, is something awesome. that reoccurs on NSPPD. We That's see right. people trying to treat physical 
you know, ailments. Right. You know, they, they're trying to treat it with physical, that's you know, solutions. Right. Whereas right. these are these are spiritual, spiritual issues. That's spiritual correct. issues. That's right. Also for the ministry of Jesus, we mm. we saw him, you know. We saw that. We saw really. him addressing that's in the case right. of the paralytic man, that's for right. instance. That's you know, right. he told him, you know, stand up, your stand sins up. have been forgiven. That's right. He wasn't trying to heal no. paralysis or give no. treatment. No. There was an underlying, underlying issue. issues. So I mean, this is just so amazing. At the word of God, ha. laryngitis disappeared. 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 Glory disappeared. to God. This instantly. Instantly. Wow. And then it her third testimony. Then. I wow. mean, <laughs> I heard this testimony and I thought to mm. myself, this must be some kind of mistake. Mm. UK embassy, don't just go from mm -mm. rejecting mm -mm. you to mm -mm. giving two you times. 10 years. Yes, two times. They're rejecting two times. Two times. Two times. To 10, 10 years. years. Not even two years. It doesn't Not happen. It doesn't five. happen. Just 10 years. It doesn't happen. Wow. I it heard this to my, and I, I was just saying to myself, I mean, yes. this is some kind of a mistake. That's right. And then I remember that, That's no. Right. No, what God <laughs> cannot, cannot do does, does not exist. exist. I mean, God bypassed <laughs> protocols. That's right. God That's bypassed what protocols. It is. is what it is. Because even if she had paid for 10 years, yes. being a first timer, yes. being rejected two times. Two times. Say, uh, let's give you, let's my try God. it. Go Where does this years. happen? 10 years. 10 years. Oh my goodness. My Multiple. God. Multiple entry. This is amazing. amazing. Only God can do it's this. Amazing. I mean, it's protocols amazing. have been it's bypassed. Yes. Protocols Fever, have been. This does founder. not happen. That's it. This does not, does happen. not happen. You know, they printed, you know, their expectation list. Expectation list. list. <laughs> that's one thing about that. You yes. see, that word, when it says print, that's the evidence. Yes. You yes. see, when the word comes and it says, go ahead and do this. Yes. To get what you want. Write it down. Pray on it. Stick on it. That's the word. Mm. And it does happen. Look mm. at all the evidence. That's their evidence. Mm. All the time. You mm. see them with that evidence. They mm. will put a date and mm. it happens. Yes, they so pray over it. They word. call it for They take it for I, a joke. I mean, this is more than they joke. prayed for. That's right. This is more. I'm sure they were praying they and were believing praying. God that, you know, they the rejection will be overturned. That's right. That, was, that would have been their expectation. That's and right. then 10 years. That's right. 10 and years. My God. It's awesome. God is awesome. awesome. God awesome. is awesome. This awesome. is amazing. Awesome. This is amazing. This is wow. Really wow. What really God great. cannot do. Does not exist. It didn't exist. It exist. <laughs> <Fitting exist. laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Glory yeah. to God. Wow. 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 Thank, so, you. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Lord. And this is awesome. testifiers today. Oh, my goodness. We have Mrs. Susan Ejawa Chuku testifying from United States of America. And we have Mrs. Oge testifying from Lagos, Nigeria. And they are both testifying mm. about 14 years and 15 years barrenness broken. Right. Yes, you heard me. Mm. 14 years and 15 it years is. of barrenness broken. broken. Glory to God. You need to click on the share button if you are yet to. Mm. Someone would be blessed by these wow. testimonies. We'll be right wow. back after this. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Nothing missing, nothing broken. I live in the United States of America. My name is Ikemi um, Susan Eja Wachuku. I have been married for 15 years and believe in God for fruit of the womb for 15 years. Pastor Jerry was sent for me. I don't know. He was sent for me. Um, I came to Nigeria 2021. I was introduced to this platform by a friend of mine, a former colleague, Bibi, and then my sister-in-law also, Udame, um, introduced me to this platform, but I never took them serious. And I came to Nigeria and I started watching it online. It, it sounds like magic, but there's God on this offer. So um, I tried to see Pastor Jerry. I couldn't see him in church. And I was traveling to Oweri and as God would do it also, he, he was also going to Oweri. I went to him and I said to him, he didn't touch me, he just said the word. So I said to him, Pastor Jerry, I've been married for 15 years and I've believed in God for fruit of the womb. I've done um, two IVF in Nigeria, I've done two IVF in America um, with no, no, no success. It wasn't successful. Um, I came down to Nigeria, uh, I've done six IVF. And then Pastor Jerry said to me, oh, he said it was, he looked at me and he, he, he smiled. He didn't touch me, he smiled. I said, this time, protocol will be broken. He said, go, protocol will be broken. He said, this time, it will work. I held on to it and I wrote it down. This time, protocol will be broken. This time, protocol has been broken. 
this time it will work. And um, towards December, end of the year, Pastor Jerry said, write down what seven things what you want God to do for you. I wrote down the first one. I wrote down the second one. I wrote down the third one. The third was, I said, God, I want a Christmas gift. I want two stripes on the pregnancy stick. That's what I wanted, two stripes. On Christmas, on Christmas day, as God will do it, this is what happened. If you look at it, on Christmas day, this is it. This is, if you look at it, 12, 25th, 20, 21. God answered me. This is it. This is the scan. This is the um, pregnancy test strip that I wanted as a Christmas gift. And I tested it on Christmas day. It was positive. And this is the scan that I did. On the 26th, you know, I, saw, I started spotting and I listened to the preaching where he said, Pastor Jerry was preaching, he was talking about me. He said, that child will grow. That child will grow and it, has, it will end in praise. He said, no matter the challenge, God has done it and it is your miracle. I held on to those words. I held on to those words strongly and those words did not depart from me. I kept prophesying on those words. I said, in the days of King Herod, Mary was pregnant. In the days of King Herod, Jesus Christ was delivered. No matter the challenges, I am going to carry this baby for nine months and I will deliver this baby in full time. I am not in my early 40s. I never had high blood pressure. Everything was normal. I was never sick during my pregnancy. Everything went smoothly. It can only be God after 15 years. It sounds like magic, but it is real. Just hold on to the word and it shall come to pass. I am a living testimony that God is on this altar. God is on this altar. Today, God has blessed me with Eliana Mfono Bongabasi Chimamanda. It can only be God, not man. After 15 years of waiting on the Lord, and the Lord finally did it for me, the Lord finally did it for me, I have come to say, Father Lord, I thank you. Father Lord, I thank you. There is God on this altar. What God cannot do does not exist. Join me in thanking God, for God has not shown me mercy. God has remembered me on this altar of fire. If God can do it for me after 15 years, he can do it for anybody. In the doctor's office, once they see me, they get, I, all the ones they see me, they say, what God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. And I say, nothing missing, nothing broken. NSPPD. What God cannot do does not exist. 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 Do, does not exist. I am that woman that God remembered after 15 years. He wiped my tears. And answered me. He showed me mercy. But I would give names that is no mine. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Eliana is here. To God be the glory. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you, NSPD. What God cannot do does not exist. I am that woman after 15 years that God showed mercy on. God visited and changed my name to Mama Eliana. <laughs> Bye. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, I am Oge. I am sending this video from Lagos, Nigeria. I am that woman that God remembered and showed mercy. Indeed, he remembered me and he showed me mercy. After 14 years, I mean 14 years, God remembered me. He wiped away my tears. He took away shame from me. He took away sorrow from me. He changed my bitter tears to laughter. He made me a mother of triplets. He gave me three. I was asking for one and he blessed me with three. He's a wonderful God. I have come today to return all the glory to he who cannot lie. To return all the glory to the God who owns the heaven and the earth. 
May his name alone be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Jerry, I am carrying my evidence. Triplet, after 14 years, all these 14 years, the mockery, the shame, the reproach. Pastor Jerry, I came, I saw, I conquered, I have my victory, I have my evidence. Triplet, he blessed me after 14 years. May his name be glorified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. All these 14 years, when any time is as if that God has blessed me, Pastor Jerry, come and see cockroaches in their numbers flood my living room. And you can only find it in that living room. And all those soldier ants, all those bitter soldier ants that will bite you, you will forget your name. They will round our, our bed. You will not see it elsewhere. And they will not bite us. Pastor Jerry, anytime the cockroaches come, before you knew it, the next day or the other day, everything will go. It became a norm. It became part of me. Even at the time, self, I'll be looking, I'll be expecting the cockroaches. But I thank God that when the Lord blessed me, at the appointed time of God, when He made it beautiful at this time, I stood my ground. I said, No way. Pastor Jerry, I tested positive. The cockroaches came the Friday after that time, after that day. The cockroaches came as they used to come. We brought out the results. We were fighting them with the word of God. We stood our ground. I am my husband. We were praying. I say, this time around, he has made it beautiful. It will remain beautiful. Whatever the Lord has done remain forever. Nobody can change it. This time around, they will not change it. It will end in praise. It will not end the way they will plan it. It will not stop on the way. All the prophetic utterances that Pastor Jerry used to release, we were giving it back to them, back to back. I say, this time, it not under my watch. It cannot happen again. In. It must surely end in praise. It must end the way God has destined it. To glow to the glory of the Almighty God. Today I am carrying my evidence. Today we are carrying our evidence. To his name alone be all the glory. Now and forevermore. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Jerry, you are a great man of God. You are blessed. May God continue to confirm all the words of your mouth. Every of your declaration, God will continue to confirm them. In the mighty name of Jesus, as many that are working with you faithfully behind the scene, may God bless them and bless the works of their hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as many NSPPDs over the world, as the Lord has visited me, keep faith, keep your faith strong. Continue to watch the testimonies because from the testimonies I got my miracle. I got my miracle. Stay put. Continuation brings freedom as you continue. The same God who remembered me, who wiped away my tears, that same God will remember you to the glory of his name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Indeed, what God cannot do does not exist. God can be trusted. God can be trusted. Look at that. God can wow. be trusted. 14 From to 15 protocols years. Protocols being broken. My God. Oh my goodness. To spiritual attacks being yes. resolved. And yes. I, oh my goodness. My I mean, God. I mean, can we just look awesome. at these, 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 look at these, these beautiful, beautiful babies. babies? Oh my God. Wow. God wow. is wow. awesome. God one is awesome. boy and two, and two girls. girls. More than she asked for beautiful. you. She said she asked God for one baby. She said she asked for one. And God gave her God three. Gave, God gave her oh three. Oh my God goodness. Gave her three. This oh, is interesting. Oh, this is this awesome. This is amazing. It's amazing. This amazing. is amazing. After how many years? 15 years. 14 Whoa, years. 14 years my for God, her. 14 my God. years. Can Triplets. you imagine? And actually, you know, that infertility, after one year, you know, I mm. mean, of trying, mm. you're diagnosed that i mean it's confirmed that you're infertile after one after year, one year of trying of without trying, success that's correct without success you're called infertile, you're called infertile. so this woman this is 14 woman times is infertile <laughs> <laughs> she's 14 times over according to according right. to science but that god has called correct. her by a god new name called her by he has a called new her name. mama oh, triplet oh yes oh yes, my yes, goodness yes. This, this is, is awesome. awesome 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 you know uh, mm. i'm i'm just at a loss for words i can imagine um a woman that has tried to conceive 
in her youth when yes. she's younger That's right. without, success. without success and here we are 14 years later probably in her 40s years later and she must have done everything she could yes yes for 14 years she 14 was years. just either believing god mm. for the miracle to happen mm. uh, you know or actually she has been doing a lot of mm. things what she are the chances been. of getting pregnant naturally 15 years 15 after years. It's, it's just very slim Yes. Just very slim because you know, now the eggs are getting older. Yes. You know, the quantity, the quality, everything yes. is everything, decreasing. Everything, everything. And not only that, you know, she gets pregnant and then she loses, loses the it. So now you see the spiritual. Yes, yes, that's correct. Mm. And I have to do with it. Mm. Every mm. time she comes. The baby comes. The baby, you know, she just comes and out. then she loses that's it. That's correct. When hey. the ants come in and Kaya the cockroaches Lata. come in. Oh. You know, and that's amazing. I mean, I couldn't picture seeing cockroaches in my house. And, that number. Oh my goodness. In that number. Demonic, demonic it's encampment. So that's what that was. That's what it was. My goodness. So for that 14 years, it's not like she wasn't getting pregnant. She was. Mm. You know, but at the same time, that was she was losing. What baby. would science do for a patient such as this? I mean, frequent miscarriages without any cure. What what remedies are available Sometimes, for her? Sometimes, you know, they have to find out the un underlying cause. Right. So if it's the cervix that is, you know, loose, because sometimes we we'll have cervix that are incompetent cervix, mm -hmm. they have to go back and kind of hold the cervix. Right. Okay, if it's something metabolic that her body, you know, has an immune, autoimmune that is just, you know, expelling the baby or not allowing it to sit, then they also have to find a solution for that. Mm. Another thing that happens, you know, is if the baby is malformed, you know, because the body has a way of actually cleansing itself. Right. So if there's going to be any congenital uh, malformation in the forming of the baby, most times we see it with a folic acid, yeah. you know, the body expels it out. But for okay. 14 years, how mm. could that be that mm. there's none that formed up normal, mm. you know? Mm. So that's where the whole thing is. 14 mm. years of getting You know, they change their strategy. The in time they past... Change. Cockroaches and soldier ants will gather <laughs> will and they will bring out insecticides. That's they will correct. bring out broom to kill, right. it. to kill it. But they changed their strategy. Right. This time around, they, they, they gathered, no. but they brought out That's fire. That's right. They, mm -hmm. they just they, they, matched they, them. They matched them. Fire for fire. Yes. That's right. And, you know, they spoke the word and <laughs> they the prayed and, and they, prayed. they stood their ground. That's right. And, and here we are. They had the evidence. They just said, this evidence, this time, God have perfected it. Yes. And God have taken his time to make it beautiful. Yes. So now, this time around, this is a perfect one. And she kind of... It's amazing that it was really perfect. Mm, it's mm, God have perfected mm, it, and mm, now mm. she had triplets. Now we have <sighs> Mama Eliana. Mama Eliana. Fifteen years oh, waiting. Lord. Fifteen years. Oh my ah, goodness! Can you? Can you? Just the joy. Uh, just the joy just on her face. Her this face. is the month of joy on that ending. That is correct. And you know, amazing. last week we had two testimonies: seventeen years barrenness broken and mm. twenty-one years barrenness broken. Hmm. That was what wow. we saw last week. And then wow. this week, God wow. is like, heaven is not done yet. Oh. We're seeing 14 years awesome. and 15 years. This is awesome. awesome. Eight awesome. IVF awesome. cycles. That's right. She mm. had two in the U.S. where it's supposed to be really perfect. If you do it there and you cannot keep it, then, then you know, your chances of success <laughs> chances anywhere else. Going I mean, down and down. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. she did eight here in Nigeria. You know, a non state. I mean... None what are not. even the chances? Eight cycles of IVF. What mm. I know about IVF is that um, the more you do it, the, the less, less chances. Of, your chances of conception. That's correct. Because the That's eggs correct. are getting older. And she says she's not in her early 40s. Probably that means she in is in her 40s. late 40s. Mm. So what are the chances that the mm. eggs that she, she did? It's not like she saved her egg or her body her is egg, older. Her know, eggs are older. Is, that's Even in number, they so, would have decreased by now. That is correct. It has mm. all decreased. You mm. know, it has mm. gotten mm. old. It's not as viable as it used to be. Hey! And for her hey. to actually get pregnant... With the help you know, of God. It's amazing. My God. It is amazing. It's amazing. My and God. did you hear that? Pro her protocols were broken. Yes. Oh, my goodness. She had a chance meeting with she, Papa. That's right. He <laughs> said, block me. So she went and blocked him. She you blocked know, him. I said, this time around, Papa, please, you know. She just said, for 15 years, I've been waiting. And Papa said, Patiently. this time around, it this, will work. That's correct. This time, this time and around. the ninth time. That's My right. God. This time around, hey! it will work.
the ninth that time. Is correct. My goodness. That is correct. Her chances have reduced. Oh her God. eggs have decreased. Oh the God. quality have decreased. Oh my God. The ninth Protocol. time. Oh, and she said, Papa bata, didn't even bata. touch hey, touch her. Hey, God. It was not like he laid hands mm. on her or anything. Mm. It was just the word, the spoken word. God can be trusted. God is awesome. God, God can protocols. be trusted. Look at her. She just 14 years, amazing. 15 years, barrenness broken. It's oh, amazing. my goodness. It's amazing. Only God when these can women do this. come and tell their stories, oh, you remember she also wrote, uh, you know, uh, expectations, expectations, December, the double third lines. One, and on mm. the 25th, mm. that's mm. the day mm. she tested mm. positive. Mm. Mm. And then the 26th, the attack came and wanted to, you know, devour, but she also stood her ground. Stood her ground. And had that evidence with her. Glory. You know, this is Glory the evidence based miracle. Glory to God. And that is Glory awesome. to God. You really know, today awesome. we're seeing the expectation list. Mm. We're seeing people actually have vest yes. their expectations. Seriously. Have you written down your expectation mm. list? Do you not need take to. it for granted. You need to. I mean, you God need is to. giving yes. NSPPDians mm. more than they expected. That's right. That's Go right. ahead and That's write right. down your expectations. See Put a timeline to it That's and right. watch God exceed see. your expectations. That's correct. It's oh awesome. my goodness, Dr. Awesome. Uche today ah, has been you. amazing. God can be trusted. You. Thank awesome. you so much God for joining awesome. us. God oh my awesome. God, we've had an amazing ah. time. Our first two testifiers, mm. we saw polyps falling out. Mm. We saw fibroids falling, falling out. out. <laughs> one shook it out yes. and one prayed it That's out. Right. Oh my God, God can be <laughs> God trusted. Is God awesome. is awesome. <laughs> Our third testifier, we saw Mrs. Mary Jane, mm. and it was a healing breakthrough and deliverance and testimony in her family. That's right. Her voice, her voice. was mm. restored. Knock Knock knees, knees and arthritis she healing. She can move it now. Yes. She can jump and she can cross her legs and do and all kinds of things. her daughter received <laughs> a 10-year right. visa, visa after awesome. being rejected awesome. severally. This awesome. is awesome. awesome. Only God can do awesome. this. Awesome. Our fourth awesome. and fifth testifiers, mm. we saw... Mama Eliana, <laughs> and our Mama Triplets. Yeah, oh mama my triplets. God, 14, 14 and 15, 15 years, years. barrenness uh, broken uh, at one uh, word from God. Uh, only God can only do God these can things. Do only God can only God. do these things. We only celebrate God. and we give celebrate. glory Thank to his you, holy Lord. name. Thank, Thank you, you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank this you, is amazing. Thank you, Thank you so amazing. much, Dr. Uche. Thank I am you. so grateful. Thank you for your Thank time. You. I'm so Thank grateful you. for the insight and the mm. knowledge you've brought on board. We're Thank about to you. close. Can you say something to our audience? Wow. I'm still going to stay on the whole issue of believing God. Yes. You have to be persevering. Mm. You have to really mm. be re resilient. Mm. You have to believe mm. that God is here, that God is on this altar. And when the word comes, just go ahead and obey it. Right. Do your own part. Right. Because God is doing his. Right. It's awesome. It's amazing. Yes. It's overwhelming. But those miracles are evident based. Because mm. these people, they come in, they show us, they tell us, they say, this is how it happened. And this is what I said. And this is what the Lord said. And this is the word I heard. And this is the result. Glory so to God. God is awesome. God is awesome. We have to keep believing in yes, God. Yes, we must. It's we must. Amazing. I, mean... I love it here. I love it here. I love it here. May God continue to bless our Papa. Amen. May you continue Amen. to keep renewing his oil. Amen. We are Amen. blessed. We are Amen. blessed to have him. We are blessed to have him. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ma. I mean, talk about staying power. Staying power. Just the ability to just stay and believe, and God, believe God for 14 That's to right. 15 years. That's and right. you know, one thing I noticed, because last week I, t I told you we had 17 and 21 years. This week we're seeing 14, 14 and, 15 and 15 years. And the common denominator I've seen in all four women mm. is just perseverance. Perseverance. Believing God right. against hope. That's continuing right. to believe God right. regardless. That's right. Staying power. Staying and I just, power. you know, pray believe. that. You know, believing, all believing. of us could just learn and take a cue from these women. Rather is. than walking away, they intensified prayers. That's correct, because they could have walked away. They could have walked away. After, they could especially have walked the away. one that blocked Papa. I mean, after you've how many waited trials? 10 years. You know? I mean, that's fair enough. Yes, 15 years. 15 years. And done how many My already? My goodness. She could have said, 
they forget it. This mm. is not going to work. It's done. It's not going to work. I'm tired. Yes, but I'm God tired. is not a man that he should mm -mm. lie. Neither is he mm -mm. the son of man mm -mm. that he should repent. Mm -mm. Has he not said it? Will he not do it? Right. I mean, we need to learn to hold, to on, hold on to God. To it is not over right. till you win. Hold it is on. not over till you Promises. testify. Hold on mm. to God. He is not a man that he, is, is he will awesome. lie. Has he promised he will do it? Let's stand and persevere. You remember that this battle is not for the faint-hearted. If you draw back, you will lose it all. And so we are going to continue to fight the good fight of faith till we take hold of our testimonies, till we lay hold of our evidence. Oh, wow. NSPPD continues on Monday 7 a.m. Nigerian time, Monday through till Friday, and we are back in the ring fighting this good fight of faith. Come back and do not come back alone. The Strange Acts of God will be back Saturday morning, 7 a.m. Nigerian time. Come back and join us, and you'll be so blessed and glad that you did. Are you following us on all of our social media handles? Go ahead and do so. Follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and on YouTube. Remember to like and subscribe to SOJ TV. SOJ TV. Remember to like and to subscribe. Do you have a testimony of your own? Go ahead and send in your testimonies to the testimony number written at the bottom of the screen. Have you shared today's broadcast? Go ahead and click on the share button and be a blessing to someone else. Wow, what an amazing time we've had today. Once again, Dr. Uche, thank you thank so you. much, Ma, thank for so coming much. to join us. Thank, thank you, you for, for the value me. you've brought on thank board. You. That brings us to the end of our show for today. Thank you to our viewers for watching. Thank you to our viewers for sharing. Till next time, remember, what our God cannot do does not exist.